she drove all the way from fucking Richmond on her own dime to perform for you tonight. Make her feel welcome to stage. Trish Blaine, make some noise. Trish Blaine, let her hear, folks. Thank you, Dan. It's not like I took a horse and buggy. <laughs> She made the journey, the voyage from Richmond. Third pair of shoes today. Bit I'm tired. Anyway, I should just do that accent all night. Go home and entertain my friends. It'd be fucking great. So, so people keep using terms wrong. Like someone said douchebag earlier when I was a kid. Uh, ladies, you'll, because it's just more for an older crowd because they'll know what I mean. When I was a child, I had to clean the bathroom. It was my job. I can't do that. It was, uh, <laughs> can't do it all night. It was, uh, it was my, it was my chore uh, to clean the bathroom and under the sink, I found like this whoopee cushion sort of thing with a stick on it. See, now that's a douchebag, guys. <laughs> I think, uh, I think the connotation for the word has been lost. <laughs> My mom was so embarrassed when I came out. She was hanging out with a friend, Judy, drinking coffee, smoking pot. Like, I didn't know that boat was. was like, oh, look what I found. Oh, no. Went to blow it up like a balloon. Don't. <laughs> oh, memories. <laughs> memories. I, uh, I dodged a bullet uh, recently, folks. I went to Philadelphia. Um, that wasn't the joke, but uh, no, I, I had to go to Philadelphia to, uh, to give my sister a ride. Her, uh, her baby daddy died of cirrhosis. Uh, <laughs> this night's just coming around. Uh, yeah, her, her baby daddy died, uh, which I didn't know. I never met the guy, so I have no, like, it seems cold, but I work in an animal clinic, and we, like, euthanize other people's pets all the time. So it was, like, euthanizing her pet. I'm like, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> he died. Oh, I'm sad. But, uh, but I had to go to Philly. I had to go to Philly to give her a ride uh, to and from the, uh, the funeral. Uh, but I was the only one qualified because my sister lives in this really special housing project in, uh, in Philadelphia. It's called prison. Yeah. So not only did I get to go to prison for the first time, but I got to break somebody out while I was there. I was like, come on, bitch, you got a day pass. But, uh, but, but the bullet part, the dodging the bullet, uh, the baby daddy had custody of the baby because they don't have a nursery in prison, uh, obviously. And so, and so like CPS is looking around going, well, who's gonna take the child now? And they look at me. I'm like, oh, fuck no. I already raised my brother's oldest kid. I don't need my sister's youngest one. There's no fucking way it's gonna happen. Luckily there was like a mandatory psychological evaluation involved. No way I was gonna pass that shit. My backup plan was a drug test, because I was in Philly, I could have got anything. And my sister had the hookup, why do you think she's in there? Back to prison for you. It was so much fun, it was an adventure. I'm like driving up to the prison like da 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 Orange looks great. Just like the movies. I, uh, I fell into the Ancestry.com vortex recently. Anybody ever do that? Yeah, one person. You all have. You get drunk in the middle of the night. You just don't remember. <laughs> I got four clicks deep. I found my father's mugshot. It's a family reunion. <laughs> Great. But I was kind of curious because uh, my dad doesn't know anything about his dad. And, uh, and I was curious because, uh, you know, I don't have much contact with my father. They don't get phone calls in jail. So I was like, okay. So I wanted to learn more about him, and I found out why my dad doesn't know anything about his dad. It turns out that his dad, my grandfather, was poisoned to death in the 50s, right? By his wife for having an affair that resulted in my father. But how much cooler is my family now? He's totally awesome. I was like, dude, we were so boring. We are like rednecks from Pennsylvania. Now? We're like a 1950s murder mystery. <laughs> Just imagine the family in black and white. Hats, smoking, poisoning. I guess he just didn't like his arsenic. I was so excited when I heard that. I was like, damn, I wish I knew his wife. That would be like really cool. Like, hey, you could have been my grandma, but uh, 
He cheated on you, so good on you. I can kill him. Great. Uh, ladies, how many of you think, here, you know what, I wish I could just fucking kill him. But today, they're forensics. Your ass is getting caught. Right? She's like, oh, trust me, I've done the research. And I did it in the library so they wouldn't find my history. Thank you guys so much. My name is Trish Blaine. Enjoy your night.